Hello, my name is Fenna. Welcome to Following Fenna. Ah, limerence. The manipulative infatuation we feel for someone we cannot call our own. And isn't it kind of weird we experience limerence because we cannot be with them? And instead of thinking, okay, hmm, this obviously doesn't work since I cannot be with them and I suffer like crazy because of that. Maybe I should go do something else. No. We try. We stay. We suffer some more. And we don't really look at the aspect of unsafety here. We just look at the greatness of the other person. Well, that's why I'm here. To smack some realism in your distorted mind. With love, of course. And I'm going to explain to you how. Okay. Here's what limerent people think. Oh my God, I love this person so much. This is an extremely special person. It's one of a kind. We should be together no matter what. I will be miserable without this person. And I'm going to try and let's hold on and try even harder. And maybe one day we can be together and then I will finally be happy. Yeah. Okay, here's reality. You were subconsciously vulnerable for a limerent episode due to unexpressed grief or non-fulfillment going on in your life. And then, boom, the wrong person came along who probably has some unhealed trauma. And somehow we detect that and we get extremely infatuated with this person because of the mismatches and the obstacles with this person. We cannot form a pair, so our nerve system goes wild on the intermittent reward and we get addicted and we need the other to stay calm. And meanwhile, we also have all these biases thinking this will make us happy when in fact it doesn't and at least not in the long run. You think you love this person in spite of the difficulties, when in fact you love this person because of the difficulties. This normal, ordinary, flesh and blood person who has been rejected in life by others and probably also by us when the circumstances would have been different, it's just a person. There's nothing special about them. It is the safety that forces us to want to get this person. And there are several reasons for that. First, our nerve system, our nervous system doesn't like unsafety, half ass bonds, uncertainty, and things like that. So our brain tries really hard to predict like crazy how this bond is. When we can connect with them, when we will hear them again, our brain tries to predict the when, where, and how far this person is from us also emotionally, obsessively. OCD is nothing more than our brain trying to help us get clarity and safety. I mean, we're problem-solving human beings. We think about things. When we walk in nature and we see a lake and we have to cross this lake and we don't know how and we have to cross it in order to get some food, we don't sit next to the lake and think about nothing for three days till we die. We start to think about a solution. That's what we do. Having OCD thoughts is trying to find a solution because of the unsafety. And while the original intention of modern nature for this is really great, obsessing does not bring us anything except that we suffer. Being obsessed with someone means there is unsafety going on, realistically or perceived unsafety. It's not an indication that this is your soulmate. Second reason why unsafety plays such a big role in limerence is when we mammals get rewards. Contact, validation, a ping on our phone could be anything that we perceive as rewarding. 
we get a little shot of hormones and then we want more. Like I always say, unpredictable rewards causes repetition of behavior. So our feelings grow when there are obstacles. They become stronger, more addictive. We want the reward again and again and again because of dopamine. And dopamine cannot be happy in the here and the now. It gives a lot of energy, but it always wants more and more and more. And in the book, The Molecule of More by Daniel Lieberman and Michael Long, it is so well described how dopamine is never happy with the here and the now. It lives of what ifs in the future. We have another thing. We have the venomous role of hope. While hope has such a positive sound, doesn't it? I mean, it sounds more romantic and more positive than the word reality. But in fact, hope plays a tremendous toxic role in limerence. Hope is your enemy number one in all toxic relationships, by the way. Hoping one day things will change. And that we didn't suffer for nothing and we will get the big prize and they will change and we will change and things will work out and once we're with lo we will be happy and we can form a pair which is a huge bias since we have no proof for that we have no proof that we will be happy when we're with lo in fact because in most cases we're not that compatible with a low, we will bump into huge problems and um, we will probably not end up with a low. So long story short, uncertainty and unsafety freaks our nervous system out. And in order to get some sort of safety, we experience limerence. Mother Nature wants us to bond with someone we cannot get. And limerence doesn't exist in a happy, healthy, secure relationship. Because then we feel safe, we feel calm and collected. So let's see things for what they are. Mm, I'm in limerence, that means that there is unsafety going on and my nervous system is freaked out and I get triggered all the time. That sucks. Maybe I should go do something else. And I'm saying this, I'm not saying this lightly. I know that breaking free from limerence is really difficult and walking away from somebody you love is really, really tough. But we should not accept unsafety. Unsafety sucks. Best thing is to walk away. We endure the pain until it gets better and we open ourselves for real, two-way, incredible, warm an incredible safe love. If you want my help with one-on-one -on -one coaching, please contact me. And if you have any benefits from this video, um, please give it, a, give it a thumbs up or maybe consider becoming a member in my member community because I can use a little support in my quest against limerence. For now, I want to thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you in another one. Bye.